How does that feel for you that you're providing that opportunity for people to immerse themselves in a sailboat ride? I mean, it's it's <clears throat> it's super rewarding. Yeah. Uh, it's um, it's one of the um, you know I'm very passionate about sailing, mm -hmm. and so the more people that we get introduced to it and involved with it, yeah. or even curious about it, um, yeah. it's just a, a really wonderful feeling. What's that passion, and where did it stem from? Um, I've been racing sailboats out here yeah. for just over 30 years. It, it came from uh, um, my cousin and uh, his best friend. Uh, they finally got me out on a sailboat um, all those years ago, and um, that was it. I was I was hooked, and I said I'm I'm going to do this every day for the rest of my life, and well, now <laughs> here I am. All right. Now, is there anything, any stories that you know you've enjoyed most year on your time here sailing? Um, wow. <clears throat> what kind of time do you have? Um, <laughs> there are the the most enjoyable experiences are when it's like the elementary kids ah. um, to see them mm -hmm. and how engaged they get because at first you know they're not really sure what to make of this whole thing yeah. um, and but once we're you know doing a science module or an environmental module or we're looking through binoculars at the wildlife or um, tying knots yeah. um, you know and, and they start to you know buy into what's happening yeah. um, that's when it's like that's really cool to work with the high school students um, and then to have them, so they'll come on one of the Wilmer Bound trips and they'll spend like four to 10 days on board with us. Yeah. And then when they come back next year as a volunteer, oh. like that is super cool and, yeah. and, and very satisfying and rewarding. Yeah. Can you kind of share how you incorporate, you know, science and, you know, the environment with those tours? Yeah, so the Science Under Sail program, um, it's uh, three hours long, so it's about an hour boat ride downriver until we can put up sails mm -hmm. out in the bay. Um, and then, so during that downriver boat ride, and then the hour back upriver, um, back here to Winona Park, we'll do things like use a petite ponar dredge to um, take a sample from the bottom of the riverbed, and ah. then we'll pull that up, and the kids will like sift through the muck and see if there's yeah. any life, um, you know, whether it's plant life or animal life, if they yeah. found any shells or mussels or twigs, uh, or we use binoculars to look at uh, wildlife when we're mm -hmm. closer to the mouth, yeah. and they learn about you know like the Great Lakes cormorants, and uh, mm -hmm. there's a couple eagles nest along the way. Yeah. What do you think that means for the future of protecting this, this body of water? Um, I, I think it's uh, helping to paint a very bright picture. Mm -hmm. um, I th it's definitely helping wearing, uh, raise awareness uh, we do uh, like an Enviroscape, which is like a little three-dimensional cityscape, um, and it mimics how pollution and environmental factors um, affect and add pollutants into the river system. They typically walk away from that one and they're like, oh, okay, like I kind of see it now and how, you know, pollutants um, that happen miles away on land still end up, you know, here, right here in our river systems. I think it definitely helps raise awareness and I think the kids walk away with uh, a, a better sense of how it all fits together instead of uh, you know just being in a classroom and, and talking about it, they can yeah. see it in action. Well, is there anything else you wanna share about your tours that you guys have? Well, we hope to see you all there for the fall color tour. We're doing two to three a day. For the next two weekends, um, we're doing two hours. We go up river, um, look at the trees and turn around and come back. Um, more information is available on our uh, website, baysailbaycity.org. Well, as Captain Matt mentioned, there are so many tours, but first up, when we come back from the break, we're gonna take a little tour of the fall color so you can kind of get a see of what you're in store for when you hop on one of these sailboats. How about it? Sounds like a plan. All right, we'll be right back.